Maine's history, beautiful and raw, lives on today if we take the time to listen. Ellen McKenzie shares the story of her great-great-grandfather, a conductor on Portland's Underground Railroad, helping enslaved people on their journey to freedom in Canada. Pride. When Marty asked me a few days ago to share a story, I thought there were so many I could share about my family. However, the one that stood out with much pride was that of my great-great-grandfather, Charles Frederick Eastman. As the seventh of eight children, it has always been my older siblings who have stepped up out of their comfort zone and shared our family history. We are a proud family. Education has always been important. My mom retired from People's Heritage Bank prior to several other jobs where she worked tirelessly to raise her family. Charles was an abolitionist and the only individual with two markers on the Portland Freedom Trail, part of the Underground Railroad. He was a homeowner, hack driver, barber, and was one of the founders of the Abyssinian Church where one of his markers is located. His other marker is located in front of the barber shop on the corner of North and Congress Street. He also owned a secondhand clothing store and when people came from the South, he used the clothes in the barbershop to cut their hair and change their disguise in order to get them safely to Canada for freedom. Passion for change. I often wonder how my life may have been had I not had the history of such brave and passionate ancestors. His son George, my great-grandfather, was a taxidermist. My mom recalls seeing stuffed animals growing up in the home. Charles instilled in his children and their children a sense of pride and importance of acting to make change. My mother fought for civil rights her entire life. I have to believe that this passion for equality has passed down from my great-great-grandfather and generations before him. The Abyssinian Church sits on Newberry Street in Portland. My great-great-grandfather was a co-founder. It was the first black meeting house built in 1828. Members included leaders of the Underground Railroad movement. The house was closed in 1917. My mom is a current member of the board and committee to restore the Abbey as a historic center in Maine. She's quite amazing.